Sri Lanka Saturday launched hot air ballooning over Colombo with daily flight schedule from November as part of plans to boost leisure activities in the city. A tethered balloon flight lifted guests from the launch site at water's edge as the wind condition was unfavorable for a fuller flight planned northeast over the skies of Colombo. With the decades-long conflict with the Tamil Tigers ending in May 2009, the skies above Colombo have opened up for civil aviation and tourism promoters are looking for ways to increase leisure activities in the city. Organizers say hot air ballooning could be one way of making tourists spend more time in Colombo. Tourists who are breaking journey in Colombo or they come as the last day stop over in Colombo city and today we have found uh, one of the biggest problems for tourists is that uh, they are very limited with excursions. They have only very few uh, um, arranged and designated and um, uh, the Colombo traveller who coming here for the second time gets bored. Where else? What else? Is this all what we can see in Colombo? Now we are giving a different dimension to Colombo where you can see Colombo from air, it's, uh, from a bird's eye, eye view and which is going to be very refreshingly Sri Lankan. We are also uh, making this available not only for tourists but also for Sri Lankan uh, domestic traveller. Be it corporate, individuals or couples, you know, you can have your wedding uh, on a balloon or you can have a birthday party in a balloon or you can have, you can gift it to somebody just to take a ride as a gift to your loved ones. And uh, yes, you know, we are targeting mostly Sri Lankans because we would like to see uh, Sri Lankans seeing the open skies, get a feel of it and having a different point of view of city of Colombo. Several takeoff points near Colombo have been identified for ballooning including the ground of the Open University in Navala. A balloon basket can carry 16 passengers and flights are likely to be scheduled between 6 to 7 o'clock in the mornings when the winds are calm. Hot air ballooning could be a relaxed way of passing time but the adventure is that your destination is unknown. You really need to be in the balloon to get that complete experience. Uh, a lot of people say it's very surreal. Um, the thing that keeps cap capturing me all the time is how quiet it is. I mean, you can walk into a room and you think it's quiet. When you're in the balloon floating, it's more quiet than quiet. The only thing that seems to disturb the, uh, the environment is when the captain puts on the burners. Now that makes a bit of a noise, but that only lasts for a short time. And then it goes back to a very, very quiet condition. The adventure is this. We take off from A and we'll be landing at X, where X is unknown. And that, I guess that's part of the adventure. Uh, but of course we've got a, quite a good idea of the area in which we're flying into. So we may not know the exact flying location, for example in Habarana where we've been flying for eight years, we've never, in the hundreds of flights that we've done, landed on the same place twice. So it's always a different spot and um, that's part of the nature of, of flying. But we know the direction, general direction, but we can't ever say the exact spot. It's not definitely not like an aeroplane. President Barack Obama saluted Martin Luther King Jr. Sunday at a formal dedication of the new memorial to the slain civil rights leader at the National Mall in Washington. King's children and other civil rights speakers spoke in the presence of President Obama invoking the Nobel Peace Prize laureate's 1963 I Have a Dream speech. Speakers urged the new generation to help fully realize that dream. For this day we celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s return to the National Mall. In this place, he will stand for all time among monuments to those who fathered this nation and those who...